Manny Pacquiao, longtime trainer Freddie Roach, openly ducks Terrence Crawford on camera. He lets you know they don't want no smoke. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. And we working. Shout out to all the people for the donations, the super chat. We got a lot to talk about. Pacquiao just lost to Jeff Horn. Very entertaining fight, surprisingly. A lot of people thought Jeff Horn, they didn't know much about him, so they naturally thought the elite, the known elite guy with more experience would have an easy time with him. That wasn't the case. It was a fun fight, did solid ratings for ESPN. But I had to make the follow-up video, and I don't even have to return to you as Ego Veli because this is just easy work, and that's just the bottom line. And it reminds me of, let's say, somebody's being tried with a murder and someone's like, oh, you did it, you did it, and they're trying to pin everything on you. And the evidence later comes out that clears your name. And that's what I feel like. Now, what I'm talking about is Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. I've told you guys, this this boxing, this the old era of what people used to do, just point fingers and blame people and name call and stuff, that's done. There's a new sheriff in town, new media. It's not just about saying anything you want and then the media just throws that out there and it sticks. Now you gotta you gotta fess up and you gotta be real. Like I told y'all in January, this wasn't gonna be a good year for some of y'all. Tell the truth, tell the truth. And if you don't tell the truth in this game, then you're getting X'd out. That's just the way it is. And regarding Pacquiao and Crawford, Pacquiao just seems to be a sensitive subject with some, right? And I told you guys, all the indications were there that Team Pacquiao, whoever you want to blame, Michael Kong, Freddie Rose, Manny Pacquiao, Aaron, whoever. But between Team Pacquiao, they wanted no smoke with Terrence Crawford. I told you that, right? And first, we'll start off. And this is just a case in point. Like I said, this is to, to show you guys what I've been telling you all along. Now, Crawford reacted to the Jeff Horn upset he said shaking my head shit's crazy they wouldn't let me fight him but let him go over there and lose shaking my motherfucking head and obviously he just did this yesterday so it's a reaction a reaction to that which is Crawford is Crawford he's he's a family man he's a skillful fighter he's ambidextrous but he doesn't go out of his way to like he says I'll fight anybody I'm not afraid let's go I'll fight Pacquiao but he's not like Broner where he's just gonna talk he does his talking in the ring and you got to respect that not Andre Ward is the same way and coincidentally they're two guys who are pound for pound worthy you know what I mean different strokes for different folks but he has been candid and open and said he will fight Pacquiao and through team Pacquiao's various interviews you guys can google some of this stuff they've openly avoided and I've told you this they've openly avoided Terrence Crawford first Michael Cox was saying Oh, we don't like Terrence Crawford's style. We've never been interested in fighting Crawford. But Aram's saying that Manny said yes to Crawford. And then Freddie Roach is like, we need some tune-ups. And it's just all over the place with Team Pacquiao. You look at Terrence Crawford, his whole unit, his whole squad, and you're not here. I haven't heard different stuff from his trainer, Bo Mack, or him. I'm hearing the same thing. They will, they'll fight Pacquiao. Our legacy is independent on Pacquiao, but we'll fight him. We're not tripping. But you look at the, the Pacquiao side of things, and it's all over the place, right? Freddie Roach, at one point, he was saying Pacquiao's a small guy. He can make 135, right? And he recently said that again. Pacquiao, I think, was eating on the scale or something when he was fighting Jeff Horn, and he said, I can make 35. So weight shouldn't be an issue because that's what some of the fans tried to come up with. They said, oh, Terrence Crawford's at 140 and Pacquiao's at 147. Crawford needs to come up to 47 if he wants to fight Pacquiao. But if the offer is right, maybe he would. We don't know. I mean, you didn't negotiate with him. But that's what the fans use. But like I said, it's no longer, shout out to KD getting the ring. But it's no longer about just saying whatever. You got to actually prove what you're saying. Crawford... He has the skills, 
and I told you for a while, but case in point, let's let's speed through this. Shout out to my dude Hoop Jab. He has an exclusive interview with Freddie Roach, and I'm not going to steal his shine by playing his video, but it's in the link in the description in case you want to watch it. And this interview, very short, under two minutes, it tells you everything you need to know what I've been telling you regarding the situation. Now, some people get mad, oh, you hate Pacquiao. Why, why would I show you fact if I hated a person? I would just make up stuff about people if I didn't. It's, but it's not about that. Boxing is bigger than any one fighter. So I speak my mind and I speak what I see. I'm real. I speak from the heart. You know what I mean? And some people may not like it, but like I say, you can dislike, but you can't disprove. And this is more proof of what I've been telling you. Now it probably doesn't matter because Pacquiao just lost to Jeff Horn. So that's also confirmation of what I've been telling you that Terrence Crawford would beat Pacquiao, right? Troy King said the same thing. But in this interview with Hoop Jab, again, link in the description, he asked the very first question that he asked Freddie Roach. He said, so would you like to unify with other welterweight champions like Keith Thurman and Errol Spence Jr.? And then Freddie Roach replies, 100%. Okay, so he, he's about that life. And this, he's like 100%. So, okay, he, he's, he's down to unify. And then I think Hoop says something like, oh, which guy? And he says, Mikey Garcia. Wait, wait, wait. So the question was, would you want to unify with champions at the weight that Pacquiao fights at, which is welterweight? You said 100%. But then you start bringing up Mikey Garcia and talking about the story about how Mikey Garcia came into the wildcard gym and said he wanted to fight with you, which he, he said that in the past. So I get that Mikey Garcia wants to fight you, but why do you want to fight the guy who is at 35 and just now going to fight Broner at 140 when Pacquiao's 147 pounder? And the question was about unifying with other fighters. So it's not just Terrence Crawford. Team Pacquiao, they're letting you know they don't want to fight the other champions at welterweight because Jeff Horn wasn't a champion and that's the fight that got made, right? They don't want to fight Errol Spence. They don't want to fight Keith Thurman and it's apparent by their actions. And the reason I'm, I'm focusing more on Terrence Crawford because that is feasible. Aram has several interviews which you can Google, a simple Google search or YouTube search and he expressed interest in wanting to fight Terrence Crawford and they're both on the same side so to me out of all those fights that is the easiest to get done Keith Thurman he just got over a million dollars to fight Danny Garcia he probably got something nice to fight Sean Porter so fights like that or Broner and Pacquiao Danny Garcia those guys may want a certain amount and they're on the other side of the fence so it might be harder to negotiate those fights no excuse but that's a fact both guys are on top rank in this situation with Terrence Crawford and he starts bringing up Mikey Garcia, who's also on the Heyman side and also not a welterweight and never fought at welterweight as a pro under the bright lights. So it's like, why would Freddie Roach be talking about Mikey Garcia? Then Hoop Jab, he's asking, he says, what about Terrence Crawford? You said in the past that you guys would be open to that. And Freddie Roach immediately cuts him off and says, and this is what I'm telling you, this is the duck. He said, he immediately cuts him off and says, I never said that. I never said that we wanted that fight. That's Bob Arum. Bob Arum wanted that fight. So he's telling you what I've been telling you, that Bob Arum wanted to make the fight. I tell you, the reason being, Bob Arum wins either way. If Terrence Crawford knocks out Pacquiao, he has a new star from Nebraska, right? And if Pacquiao defeats Terrence Crawford, wow, you just beat the guy who's, who's being praised as a pound for pound next Floyd Mayweather, this generation's Floyd Mayweather. So Aaron wins either way. So I really believe Team Pacquiao didn't want this. And it's so obvious. Terrence Crawford just beat up on Freddie Roach's other guy, Victor Postal. And Freddie Roach is telling you there. He says, I never said that. I never said we wanted that fight. And that's, I, I would honestly say that's kind of false because I know he says they'll take some tune-ups and then they would, they would be willing to fight him. But now he's pretty much dismissing it, right? So what can you guys say now at this point? And this is the thing, just because I know there's a lot of people, anytime these situations happen, they try to think of every excuse under the sun why it can't be true. They'll be like, oh, he said that before. Or he, if Freddie Roach is a hologram. That wasn't the real Freddie Roach. That was an imposter. Well, like, what are you talking about? Like, just 
just admit it. But just so you know, this was published June 30th, three days before. So this is before he lost to Jeff Horn. Like I said, now it doesn't make sense maybe to fight Terrence Crawford because you're you're going to be put into this rematch situation. But this was before that, and Freddie Roach was saying that. So there's no backing out of it. There's no saying like, oh, because he just lost and had a tough fight, he cuts versus Jeff Horn. That's why. Because Freddie Roach is saying all this before he even knew the outcome of the Jeff Horn fight, which I'm pretty sure he was confident in beating him because no one really even knew who Jeff Horn was, including Pacquiao. He's on record. But if you listen to this interview, Freddie Roach said something else that I've never, ever once heard. He says, he says, I never said I want to fight Terrence Crawford. That's Bob Aaron. Bob Aaron wanted that fight, and he corrected Hoop Jab. But then he goes on to say that um, I don't think it will happen because Terrence Crawford wants to fight in Nebraska. Like, when did Terrence Crawford, and I'm going to ask him next time I see him too, when, when did Terrence Crawford ask for a Pacquiao fight in Nebraska? Crawford seems like a very sharp guy, both in the ring and outside of the ring. I've been at his media days. I've, I've been in Omaha twice. And I think he would have to know that in that equation, he's probably the B side and Pacquiao would be the A side. So I don't understand why he would be expected to fight at the Century Link Center in Omaha. So it's like Freddie Roach, I really feel like he made that up because I, if you guys can produce, just like I say, new media, it's not just about saying this stuff. Show me something from Team Crawford or Terrence Crawford directly, an interview where he says, I only want the Pacquiao fight in Nebraska. I've never heard him once demand that. And I don't see, I don't even think that's reasonable that he would demand it knowing Pacquiao is a legend and knowing he's a, um, an A-side. You know what I mean? They would probably fight somewhere else like Vegas, somewhere neutral. You know what I mean? So that's a cop-out. You just don't want to fight him. That's what it boils down to. But again, if I stand corrected, if you could show me a documented situation where Terrence Crawford says, oh, I want to fight Pacquiao, but he has to come to the Century Link Center in Omaha. That's the only way then I'll make a follow-up video. But I know I won't have to because I know he didn't say that. He never said, you know, you have to get through negotiations to land on a negotiation and, or land on a site to land in a venue. You have to get through negotiations. And you didn't even really negotiate with him because I got the, I did a video about it and Terrence Crawford was like, people were saying this and I don't want to come up to 147. I never said anything because there was nothing offered to me. So, Freddie Roach just made this whole Nebraska thing up until otherwise proven. And I follow boxing, I report on boxing, and look at all these videos. 11 months ago, Manny Pacquiao, yes to Terrence Crawford. This, Bob Arum says Manny Pacquiao said yes to Terrence Crawford as a potential future opponent. You guys can click all the videos, I cite my sources, and, and it's just, it is what it is. Freddie Roach also accused Terrence Crawford of demanding $7 million and I debunked those rumors because Terrence Crawford, he came out. He's like, I didn't, I didn't request that. Hold on, let me see if I can get to it. Concussion. Tell the truth. I told y'all, I told y'all to tell the truth. Here it is. Hold on. Let me enlarge it. This is from Bob Aaron. You see this? This is a verified account. Knocked out because Pacquiao had an improved right hand. Verify Bob Aram account. No truth that Terrence Cra no truth that Terrence Crawford demanded seven million to fight Manny Pacquiao. He is a consummate professional and always reasonable. Right? Bob Aram's saying this. This is his account. I made a video about it. So once again, you guys are trapped and backed into a corner per usual. Tell the truth. Just admit it, he didn't want to fight Crawford. Whatever, he's a legend. I guess he doesn't have to, but go back to the video I did 11 months ago, 22,000 views. Freddie Roach wants Manny Pacquiao to avoid Terrence Crawford next fight. Y'all try to give me hell for, make, for making this video. And I explained to you why I felt this way, and I told you what the situation was. And just look at some of the comments. HD Sharp, 10 months ago. Why would Pacquiao fight a runner like Terrence Crawford? Even if Pac wins, he'll get robbed by the judges and Crawford is no draw. His fight with Postal bombed. All right, see, more excuses. And then if you go back to this interview with Hoop Jab, 
he asked about Terrence Crawford, and he said, oh, yeah, Terrence Crawford, that's a big fight. So he's saying it's a big fight. So that's already debunked because in this interview where Crawford's name is mentioned, he says it's a big fight. So you can't use that because of Postal. Postal doesn't have a name. So you're expecting Terrence Crawford to hold the whole card. And the undercard wasn't like the most cracking undercard. I was there. I, I covered the fight in Vegas. And, and Postal didn't have a name. So you're expecting Terrence Crawford to come out to Vegas and, and sell out the fight. That's, that's unreasonable. You know what I mean? With a name like Victor Postal. It was a good fight for real boxing fans. Crazy. And then this is another common tactic. Tell the truth. Mohammed Alem. Why not Coward Mayweather versus Golovkin? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? This is what they do. They deflect. Why doesn't Floyd fight Golovkin? What does that have to do? They're not even in the same weight class. And we're talking about Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. Joe Sandeo. Roach did not say that he does not want Crawford fight. What he said is he wants Manny to fight one tune-up fight before facing Crawford. Okay. You said that 11 months ago, almost a year ago. Now Freddie Roach is saying, I never said I wanted Crawford. We never said we wanted that. Go listen to the interview. So once again, you guys are trapped. And I got to show you this because at the end of the day, there's credibility on at stake. And I don't just bump my gums and make these videos. I try to have substance behind it. More excuses. Pacquiao's not in his prime anymore. But he still, he was a champion up until on point Pacquiao out of prime. Volition Trader. How is this a duck? He said he wants a tune-up before he fights him. What's wrong with that? But y'all give Ward a pass for fighting a tune-up before fighting Kovalev. Laugh out loud, double standard. So, Ward, there were, see, this is too easy. I'm trying to tell y'all. 11 months ago, they said that, right? Ward had an HBO multi-fight deal contract. HBO stipulated that you guys both take one or two fights and then meet in the, the winter, which they did in November. November 19th, I covered that fight as well. So the reason we gave Ward a pass, quote unquote, is because Andre Ward had a contractual obligation that both parties acknowledge. I was at a Kovalev round table. So main event said, yes, we have a deal with Ward. We're working on the venue and that'll be announced soon. But we have all agreed. It's, it's written, it's signed, sealed, and delivered. We just got to work out some of the finalized details. So you, again, you guys compare apples and wood. This doesn't correlate because there was no guarantee that Pacquiao would ever fight Crawford. Now it looks like he never will fight him. But with Ward, he had signed an HBO multi-fight deal. And I remember because I made a video about it. See, y'all can't fuck with me. I'm a reporter. So all this information just sticks because I do videos about it. And I know fighters and I know camps and I know different things like that. So you can't use the Ward. Oh, Ward got a tune-up because the whole tune-up, Alexander Brand, we knew it was an appetizer to the main event. With Pacquiao, we don't know. He might, he might never fight again now. He might fight Jeff Horn three times if the if the next fight is split. They might try to do a rubber match. Look, Sam, Freddie don't want Manny to fight a runner. More excuses. If you're the best and you're elite, it don't matter what style. Look, more deflecting. Yeah, let's just put the let's just put the two African American fighters against each other. Yeah, man, I want Crawford versus Spence. Lee Floyd and Man and Pacquiao retired. Pacquiao's not retired though. Crazy, always excuses and new media style. We gonna just keep exposing it and keep showing it and keep beating into your head until you guys get sick of it. Look, boxing Negro. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What does that have to do with the video? What about Mayweather, or excuse me, Pacquiao versus Crawford? Pacquiao is tiny. More excuses. Crazy. But all I see is hate from Manny, laughing my ass off. See, again, you guys confuse realistic facts 
and what has been shown as hate. That's how is that hating when you're you're showing the proof? You're leaving a trail. You're leaving breadcrumbs. Wait, facts equal opinions now? Wow, end of the world is really near. Opinions based on facts are not facts at all. Please go back to school. But I agree, stylistically, not a good fight at all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, oh, it's, you're hating on him. Freddie Roach tells you everything. Once again, checkmate. Make sure you share the video, like the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, sign